those telling us to listen them they can are actually the people secretly telling us to continue to detain him hello viewers welcome to my channel it's no longer news that after the warning of a big court and every other court in Nigeria after the so called ultimatum given by UN to Nigerian government to free Nam the Kano before six months they have continued to detain him even after the six months has expired this is because the same people who are telling Nigerian government openly to release him are the same people doing everything secretly for him to be continued to keep in communicado in DSS custody. Some of you believe that you are stupid, right? You believe that Biafrans are stupid. Some may be, not all. Actually, since the so called United Nations ultimatum given to the Nigerian government expired, United Nations has not deemed it fit to take action in Nigerian government. But rather, they continue to welcome Buhari in different summit. This was how they brought him poster to us in Nigeria. Something that British government planned to date. Everybody refused to understand that this man who is in Asorok is an impostor. A man who could not conduct a free and fair election after promising. A man who could not release the in the canon after promising. Is nothing but an impostor who has come to destroy the Bo nation. And in fact, so many people have handed this. But I'm so dumbfounded that people like Devu Mahi, people like Koza Demma, people like Wiki, are the people contributing in the atrocities going on in Igbo land. And their friends are large. And their friends land at me. They will come out openly to tell Nigerian government, giving so many ultimatum to Liz Mazen Namde Kano. But the question is, have they ever asked British government to do their job by asking Nigerian government to Liz Namde Kano? Have they ever done that? The answer is no. But as the war is going on, they have continued to condemn one part of the people and also have continued to add one part of the people. So what about their friends? Are we not human beings? Or is it that they see us as black monkeys that we don't have time right to exercise our right? Was it that they never see us as something and that we have to, we have to prove to them in no time that we are not gibberish but we are somebody in everything that he was has done in everything that Biafran has done you must see someone who is going around betraying them you must see someone who is going around betraying them what has happened to Mazen Namde Kano is quite a shame that he did. He's still in DSS custody. The work powers are looking elsewhere. They pretend because they, they are all benefiting from what is happening. Maybe what they are waiting for is when we start war, they will add them as usual to cause havoc in Igbo land and Biafra at large. The question is, those of them who are busy giving press conference, 
Damas now the Kalushi will lead. Are they really serious of what they are doing? Or are they are secretly? Are they openly deceiving us and secretly helping the Janjawi government to cause mayhem to our people, to cause calamities, to cause destruction? If they believe that we we keep quiet when they continue to use us, that will never happen. I'm sick and tired of this whole nonsense. British government have showcased their true color. From the beginning, they were the ones who call us rebel. Headed by Zeke. In times of Ujukus. In every time in our life, we must see Sabu to us and betray us everywhere. Sabu, Sabu. I'm no longer a schoolboy. Ja, give me my freedom. They continue to give us fake promises. As we continue to endure, they continue to give us fake promises. They have caused all sorts of atrocities. They have caused all sorts of mayhem against our people. Mazen Namde Kalu did not commit any crime. Why would he continue to remain in DSS custody? Why would he continue to remain in DSS custody? This is because power above uh, did I call it power above? God forbid it's only God in heaven who is power above has power above wants to be power in Britain and wants to be power in Europe and wants to be power in as useless Abuja as a rock continue to delay the release of the gentleman that the court of law has released Those who are openly advocating for Nam the Kano's release, somehow secretly advocating for his continued detention. United Nations, EU, Amnesty International, international community, and what power should ask themselves question. What have this man committed? Why are they still keeping him? Or is this a deliberate art to continue to foster the Igbo nation in Biafra land? This man is the only leader we have. Take it or he leaves it. Leave it. He is a pure soul. He tell you the things the way it is. Why can't we do the nephew? We must restore Biafra no matter what they say. We cannot succumb. If they can, could not Kajoma as a they can, with the whole torture, both physically, mentally, and otherwise, to stop Biafra agitation, then who are, who are we? Who are we? To stop. We must continue to be consistent. They will do everything possible to stop us. But we must not stop. We must do the nephew. We must reason. We must think. We must plan. To get something good to do. I think I've come to the end of this news. Members as you share. Cheers.